Welcome back, everybody, to Imperial and Galactic Survival and Alpha 11.1. This is Project Eden, and it is also the Dead is Dead series, and I am still alive. No deaths. Uh, we are level 11 now, and uh, we're doing really well. Okay, so if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, we made some further modifications to the Stingray here, and uh, vastly improved its turning, and I once again want to uh, give a shout-out to Blue76 for uh, pointing out to me that if you take your your rear thrusters, your main drive thrusters, and you put them further out from the center of mass, uh, it'll improve your turning, and it absolutely does. Um, significantly improve the turning. So again, a uh, big thanks to Blue76 for pointing that out to me. Now, uh, there's there's a couple, we have a couple of gaps now in the ship, uh, which I don't think I'm gonna do anything about right now. Uh, so this is still not a finished product uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but what we are gonna do though is we're going to go ahead and um, save it to template in its current state and I'm also going to here let's get over here out of the ferns I'm just going to do a quick um, backup save in the workshop uh, too uh, or I'm sorry in my own blueprints so let's see we want to go to small vessels and uh, we're going to call this a uh, stingray Yeah, okay, we must, have, we must have done that on the moon. Um, let's go ahead and start doing some versioning on this since I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna be making further adjustments. So we're gonna call this Stingray version two. Okay, and uh, I will go ahead and upload that to the workshop too for those of you who might want to, uh, you know, might wanna mess with it a little bit on, on your side. So let's publish that as a public. And we'll go from there. All right, cool. So uh, in this episode, guys, we are going to head back to Vardom. And we're going to get another load of crap, okay? Uh, but in order to do that and have enough CPU to make things work, uh, we... Come on. What the hell? It just, there. Um, <laughs> we need to take the, the guns off of the ship. Uh, we won't be using them anyway because... There's no enemies on Vardom, except for the environment itself. So we don't need to take these with us, and this will get us CPU back, which will allow us to go faster. Because we have to go, I believe we have to go a minimum of 50 meters per second in order to warp. I don't know that for a fact that it's 50 exactly, but I know that 45 doesn't work. We'll put it that way. <clears throat> um, all right, so... Let's go ahead and grab the uh, Pentaxa tank, the warp drive, and we need 80 uh, Pentaxid for the fuel to get there and back. And let's put the tank, we'll just stick the tank down in this little slot right here uh, for now. And then we were putting the warp drive itself just right on top of the tips of the, the little fence there. Okay, so now, doing that, what is our CPU at? Very good. Okay, so we're still, um, actually, whoa, we're like way, way down. That's good. That's good. Um, quite a bit more than before because, hmm, that's actually interesting. Okay, good. Now, um, let's also empty out anything out of the the stingrays inventory that we don't absolutely need to take with us so let's switch over to the stingray uh, we do need the fuel here uh, we don't need to take the armor locker we don't need to take any of the ammo because we don't have the weapons to fire them anyway we just want to make this thing as light as possible so we can take as much crap with us as possible uh, we don't need the cores we don't need the explosives uh, we don't even really need the O2 because I've got O2 in my own inventory. So let's take all of that out. The fuel is the one thing we probably better keep with us, but I don't know that we need 117 fuel packs, though. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to the Stingray over here and go to the fuel. We'll toss that off. Let's go. also put all this in the Pentaxa tank. And let's go back to the base and... Uh, I'm going to put half of the fuel, because this stuff is, is relatively heavy. Um, well, I guess it's not that heavy. Okay, and so that get basically gives us, uh, makes us damn near about as light as we can get with this ship here. Okay, 
So I just want to make sure I've got oxygen in here, so that, that way I'm I'm going to be okay uh, for O2. I don't know why I've got these in my inventory, but we don't need them in there. Uh, we don't need the biofuel. I think I'm going to keep all my own inventory stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's just a little bit unwise to not keep the essentials in my own inventory, I think. You never know what's going to happen, you know what I mean? You just never know what's going to happen. Okay, so we're pretty light. We've got, we should have enough fuel uh, to get there and back. And so we are going to go back. I know this looks a little janky, but that's okay. We're not worried about that. Uh, we're going to go back and we are going to get another load of stuff from Vardom so that we can continue here with, uh, you know, with more stuff to make more stuff. <laughs> my brain, my brain's not working very well today, is it? Continue with more stuff so we can make more stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? That makes perfect sense to you guys, right? Right? Just say yes. Just nod your head and say yes, it does. <laughs> okay. Um, let me do one more round of picking this stuff. Uh, just so we can get more spoiled. Did something just hiss at me? Uh, so that we can get more spoiled food going so that we can make more nutrient solutions. Because when I get back, my number one priority is going to be get our farm going. I hate going back to the damn dead planet too. I'm gonna just throw that out there. But we've got too much. We got too much uh, stuff over there to to leave. We've got to we got to get it and bring it back here. I'm mostly interested in bringing back the, um, you know, all of the components that we farmed up there, because that's you know gonna help us make the stuff we need here. Uh, at some point, I also want to, to try and bring back that deconstructor that I found, too. But that thing's going to be heavy, so that might be a, a separate trip all by itself. Oh, I hear spideys. Leave me alone, spiders. I did not invite you to my party. Not sure where they are, but let's just go. Thumpity, thumpity, thump. Okay, let's put... Uh, oh, looks like it's already in there, because we were still connected. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. So let's hop on in here. And head back to the stars. Look at that beautiful turquoise blue sky. Gorgeous. I kind of, I'm kind of glad we, our jungle planet here is a large planet. Um, it's a pain in the ass, you know, for exploring and that sort of thing. But it's just, it, the, the, on the plus side, it gives us more to explore. You know what I mean? More to explore. I'm gonna have to try and figure out landmarks from space so we know where to go so we don't we don't have a lot of water around us we're in a very large continent I guess you would call it even though everything is like scaled way down in this game from real life um, where all our stuff is so there's a there is a large body of water uh, to the west and then kind of some smaller water uh, to the east and it'll, it'll probably take us a few attempts to, to actually get used to what that looks like. Okay, let's go to the sector map and head back to... we got to go to Athenid first. So we can get up to 120 meters per second currently, but of course we don't have, have any load on this, so... I have no idea where we are on, on Vardom from space. <laughs> so we're just going to touch down and and then hopefully we'll luck out and get close to it. If not, we'll have to do an ammo jump. Okay. Looks like we're down here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we have to be. I think we have to be at least 50 meters per second before it'll let us warp. Oh, look at that ugly hunk of junk, man. Do we have to go back down there? We have to. Yeah, we have to. Okay, you know what? I do remember something actually. Uh, there was there were three of these little craters, like right next to each other, not too far from where our base is. So let's see if we can actually uh, spot those. I mean, they were they were like touching each other close. I do remember that. Because if we can, uh, you know, get relatively close to our our base, that'll save us some time from having to fly through the atmosphere. You know, plus it's beautiful up here, man. I'd rather fly up here than down there. Yeah, but very very pleased with how the stingray is turning out. Uh, you know what the changes that that we've made recently with it turning out to be a pretty decent little ship and it kind of looks like a stingray too maybe not right at the moment <laughs> it does look a little weird without the guns on the front but okay this is getting up to the pole so is, is that the north or the south pole oh that's the south pole okay so we need to go this direction Kind of do a burn up this way. But like I said, we're looking for those craters. I think there's, if I remember right, there was like three of them, but they were right, like right touching each other, even kind of overlapping a little bit. And I do remember saying to myself, self, remember that because you can use that as a landmark the next time you come back here. So we'll do a burn this way. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's actually it right there. That looked very familiar. And this is uh, this is like the little irradiated area that was right by our base. So I think our base is right approximately around the area where my crosshair is. But we're gonna find out though, aren't we? There it is. It's only 3.3 kilometers away, so that's not bad at all. That's very close. I'll take that. Oh man, I hate this place. This place sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. It's like being in hell, man. Only instead of fire, you have cold and radiation. But we don't have to stay here long. We're just going to grab it. More stuff and then get the hell back out of here. Ooh, come on, camera. take the hover vessel but one way we could do that is to just actually disassemble it and rebuild it on the other side I know I can dock it to there but I, I tried to do that last time and also you know bring a load of stuff and it just it was too heavy I couldn't get up to speed to warp I don't remember if I actually showed that on camera or not but In some ways, it'd almost be simpler just to take all the parts and rebuild it over there, you know, rather than try and take the thing whole. 
I mean, because it's not like it's like a super fancy build that took me hours and hours to make anyway. Hmm. All right, let's check. Let's check this stuff. leave that there for the moment. Okay. Uh, looks like the base is not... Wait, is it powered? The plants are still alive. No, it's out of fuel. The plant is not growing because there's not enough light. That's really weird because it's it's minus 14 degrees in here and the grow lights off. I can't believe these are not dead. I mean, I'm not complaining that they're not dead. I just can't believe they're not dead. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Oh, now they are. <laughs> it, probably, it just took the game a little while to to update to me being here probably. That's probably what it was. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, that's the way they should be. I mean, come on. That's the way it should be. Okay. But that was to be expected. I wasn't expecting that stuff to... Oh, look at that. Actually, that's good. We need all this stuff. We need all this stuff uh, for, for crop plots. Perfect. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and grab all of that first then. So we're going to go uh, to the stingray here. I kind of hesitate to take the water because, you know, we can make easily make that on the other side. How heavy is a stack of this? one kilogram. I mean, it all, it all adds up. But this stuff's actually going to come in real handy. Um, yeah, those were all of our those were all of our uh, protein bars that we had, had made up. They don't last forever. Okay, so let me think. Um, I'm just wondering if we could actually take the deconstructor with us on this trip. Um, let's go here. Okay, so where is that thing? It's right here. So this is 40 tons. It gets us, that's pretty damn heavy. What I'm most interested in right now though, is just components anyway. So, um, let's go to the input and let's just grab component stuff. Probably take that promethium too. That's a lot of promethium actually. I want to take the magnesium. Small constructor, portable constructor. Don't need the water. Uh, we don't really need that either. That's super easy to make. Uh, I don't think we need silicon. We've got lots of silicon deposits on our new planet. We've got a couple cobalt deposits. We've got a bunch of copper. So none of this stuff is really critical. Well, the hardened steel plate would be useful. So let's grab that. Uh, the glass plate, mm, again, pretty easy to deal with silicon, so I wouldn't call that critical. So that gets us up to 54 tons with the deconstructor. Okay. Um... Now, what do we have? Let's look at the output again. What do we have in here that we really should be taking with us if we can? Should probably take all the boosts. Each one is a half a kilogram. Because we can sell these. Let's take the money too. We should probably take the ammunition. And the fuel. We don't necessarily need another medical device. I mean, if I can get all the right stuff now, I might never come back here. You know? Uh, let's take the charges, the medical, the medical stuff. You know what we could do, actually? 
we could actually set the deconstructor down now and melt all this stuff down and then take all the parts with us. That's what we should do, huh? That's what we should do. Um, okay, so I'm curious though. Let's let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. Instead, what I want to do is take anything else that I think we really need to take with us. You know, that, that we can't ease... Oh, we've got 21 growing plots right there. That's 120 kilograms, but man, that's a lot of growing plots. That gets us up to 59.4 tons. Just not really seeing any... Let's take those because we can sell them. Just not really seeing anything else in here that I feel like we absolutely have to have with us. That we couldn't easily recreate on the other side. It would be kind of nice to have the rocket launcher. What's the what's the weight on this? Mass is 2.9, almost 3 tons. Yeah, let's not do that. We can make those on the other end. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's go... Let's go fly the ship with the weight that's currently in it. And just, uh, you know, see how she's feeling. Now, oh yeah, we got we to gotta do something about this too. But here again, I think the answer for this is to take it apart and just reassemble it. Rather than try and take it whole. Because that's going to, you know, that's going to save us a lot of weight too. But let's see how the ship feels right at the moment. With the weight that it current. Oh, yeah, see it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. What kind of speed do we have? We have we only have 34 meters per second on the planet. Um. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go up into space and see if we can hit 50 meters per second in space. See, we're just, you know, we're pushing the limits of this little ship because it's not designed really, you know, we're trying to make it an, an, a multi-purpose vessel. And I know, you know, we're supposed to be more specialized, but this is all we have to work with right now. I don't want to build another ship, a hull ship at this point. So we'll just get up into space and see if we can actually hit 50 kilometers. Uh, I'm sorry, 50 meters per second. See, no, 42 is our max, and I don't think it's going to let us warp with 42. Okay, so here's here's what I'm thinking, you guys. Here's what I'm thinking. I think what we should do is go back down. Let's, let's set up the deconstructor, and let's just melt everything down. We'll bring all the components back. To the to our home our jungle planet and then at some point we'll come back and just get the deconstructor by itself unless um, I can get to the point where I can just make it over there I think that's what we're gonna do because you know I, I if you guys watched my my alpha 10.5 series of project Eden, I had a hard time coming up with the deconstructor and I I eventually got one, right? But it was just, it was a challenge. And so, you know, that thing's kind of pretty valuable. Okay. We need to turn this way. Yeah, we got, <laughs> we got really heavy right now. Let's also back up whilst we're turning. Yeah, I mean, if, if this was a planet I was planning on coming back to on a somewhat regular basis, I would keep this base going, you know, as an outpost, but honestly, I do not want to come back here ever again until after we get everything we need from it. I just don't I hate this place. Okay, so let's just park right here. the thrusters off.
attach to the stingray. This thing is large. Okay, so we'll put that there. Now, let's grab um, all of the biofuel out of here. <coughs> Oops. Oh, we're at volume already. Oh, I forgot I had all this in my inventory, too. Let's go to opportunity and stick that in there. throw some fuel in there so that we can get uh, get the deconstructor going okay how heavy are these guys they're four kilograms a piece okay so let's go here and back to here Put a couple more stacks in there, and maybe the partial. And then these we'll we'll try and take with us. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to let's basically just assign the input crate to the deconstructor, and whatever we put in there is gonna get melted down. Okay, so it's going to start melting stuff down. Um, let's go ahead and pick up these crop plots and take them back with us to use on the new planet. stuff's in a fridge so let's transfer that uh, to the whoops output and we're just gonna uh, we're just going to salvage this stuff get the parts for it don't need that guy here. and we don't need this guy anymore Actually, you know what? Let's not take this apart yet, just in case. Just in case I actually need it for something. Okay. Um, this we can take apart. All of that can be taken apart. That can be taken apart. Uh, we'll leave the wireless. Ventilator doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, I want to... Is there not anything in here that the deconstructor can deconstruct? Probably. Yeah, probably not. Oh, why is that turned off? Thought I turned that thing on. Okay, now it's deconstructing stuff. Who knows, man? Who knows why these things happen? Okay. So, yeah, let's just melt everything else down that we have in here. Um, the fuel, however, that we'll put on the stingray. I might actually keep that. I might actually keep that. Okay. Oh, excuse me, guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to opportunity. And I don't think this stuff can melt down. Uh, neither can the water. So we'll put that in the output. The wood shouldn't melt down. Uh, and I don't think ore will melt down. Or stone.
concrete's not something that I want to take back, and we don't really need to take that back either. Okay, so let's put all these components in. I, I do have a, a heater cooler on me. Okay, not that I probably won't ever need it again, but you never know. Uh, the explosive devices I'd like to keep with me. Or keep, rather. So let's put those on the stingray. Um, grow lights, how heavy are those? 17 kilograms. That's fairly heavy. And these are easy to make, so I think we'll melt those down, even though we do need them. Anything else that we want to take back with us? More explosives. We'll take the adrenaline shot. Minigun rounds. And that we'll take the we'll take the ammo and the pistol upgrade kit. Okay. Now let's go back to opportunity and melt stuff down. So put that in there. All of this can go in there. down into silicon. I guess it doesn't matter because we're not taking the silicon with us anyway. Oh, I wish we had a sword option in this game. I so wish that we had a sword option in this game. How, much, how heavy is water? A whole, a whole stack is only one kilogram. Yeah, what the hell. Let's take it. We can always jettison it later if, we, if we're a little bit over. Uh, I'd like to take the biofuel as well. Oh, wait. I'm putting that in the wrong place, aren't I? Uh, go back to the stingray. If we can manage to take uh, all the biofuel back with us, we should do that too. Because, hey, it's biofuel. It's fuel, man. Okay, so I guess all we have to do now, guys, is just wait for this to melt stuff down. Um, hello? And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart, I'm going to take this apart, and we're just going to rebuild it um, on the jungle planet. There's just, like I said, I, I don't feel like we need to to take it whole because it's nothing special. It's just really basic, um, and. Um, we, we, we can't afford, you know, the weight. So let's go ahead and tear this thing apart. And I'm going to just salvage it. I'm not even going to keep the whole blocks. So make sure we're connected to the stingray there, which we are. And start taking her apart. Poor little hover vessel. She sure did a good job keeping us alive and healthy in the early game, huh? Oh my goodness, we're out of time already. Can't believe it. Can't believe it, man. Can't believe it. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to wait for the constructor to melt everything else down and then take all the components that that melts down, put it in the ship, and we're going to head back to the Jungle Planet. At some point, unless it, unless we you know, can make one of these or we find one on the Jungle Planet, I will plan to come back here and also grab this deconstructor. All right, so in the next episode... I should be back on the jungle planet and we will proceed uh, from there. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.